Hi viewers, how are you? Hope everyone is fine. Welcome to my YouTube channel Samiullah Khan 92. Today I am going to teach you how to install Shock Observer in the package unit. Shock Observer needs to install in some places because of more vibration in the machines. Most of the package units uh, no need to install uh, Shock Observers. In this machine, we need to install shock absorber because we change, uh, we make some modification in this because we don't found the same compressor of the package unit. When we install this uh, new compressor in this uh, package unit, it makes more vibration, which causes a leak in the system. That's why we purchase the shock shock absorber for this package unit and install. First of all, you have to choose the position which is suitable for your shock. Observer, try to uh, install this near to the head of the uh, compressor. As you look in this video, we cut the uh, copper pipe because we measure the place uh, first where it is suitable to install. Now see, we cut the pipe from top and bottom. Take care about the rust uh, go inside the pipe. You must take out this rust uh, from the pipe uh, with the air pressure as you see in the video. We make some air pressure and remove the rust from the pipes. And then you can fix the shock absorber uh, like this from top and uh, uh, in the downside. Make a good position where it uh, comes suitable. After this, so we will uh, start brazing on this and make a good brazing. Shock absorber is a good option for us to uh, reduce the chances of leakages. This package unit is the R22 Freon package unit and it's a 30 ton unit. And this compressor uh, is uh, 16 ton. Now we will see uh, how to make brazing on this shock absorber. So our brazing is complete done from the top side. Now we can make a brazing from the downward side. From the bottom side brazing it's a bit difficult but uh, not impossible. Uh, easy to braze also from the bottom side. No, our brazing is uh, done from the top and bottom. Uh, see, let's see. We will check this with uh, jerking the compressor. We check the shocks. After brazing, you must uh, charge your system with the nitrogen to check uh, the leakages. Make sure there is no leak in the system. After that, you can vacuum the system and charge with the fuel. Thanks for watching.